Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. Hey, check out where we're at today. You guys see that big old sign over there? That's right. We are at National Trailer Source in Willis, Texas. You know, something really cool about cowboys is they get to travel the whole country going to different rodeos all over the place but they have to carry their animals with them. And we see a lot of trailers going down the road. I thought it'd be cool to check some of those out. You guys want to come with me? I got this nifty golf cart. We can kind of take a look around. Come on, get in here with me. This is going to be a good time. It's a beautiful, bright Texas day. We've got a ton of trailers to check out. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's get going on this thing. This sure is a zippy ride, isn't it? Wow, look at those. Those are gooseneck livestock trailers with living quarters in them. I mean, look at these things. Oh, guys, look over there. That looks like it has a really cool living quarter in it. Now, what I mean by living quarter is actually like a bed and a place to sleep and all kinds of things. Oh, check this out. They even have one for A&M right there. Texas A&M out of College Station, Texas. Now, National Trailer Source sure does have a lot of trailers for us to look at. I wonder if they would let us take a really close look at some of them because I want to see the inside, don't you guys? All right, let's pull up to the shop here. We're at the sales center right here. Oh, wow, how cool is this? All right. Hey, guys, come on, let's get it. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cowboy Jack. Hi, Lauren. Very nice to meet you. So you work here at National Trailer Source? Yes, I've been here for two years. Two years? That's awesome. So you must know a thing or two about these trailers. Yes. So I'm really excited because I've never actually seen the inside of any of these trailers, but I love watching rodeos. I love seeing people moving cattle down the road. I mean, we're in Texas. That's kind of what keeps the, keeps the economy going, right? Yes. So to get to see an inside look at one of these, do you think we could take a look inside? Oh, absolutely. Now, I saw this little guy right here. Can we take a look at this? Yes, this is one of our Sundowner mini stock trailers. Guys, look how small <laughs> this trailer is. This is pretty cool right here. <laughs> this is so small. I don't think you could fit a cow or a bull in here, could you? No, probably pigs and goats and sheep. That Smaller makes much animals. more sense. I don't think a longhorn could even think about putting his head in there. <laughs> so how does this thing open up? Oh, it's got a latch right there? Yes, it's got a latch and a drop down. Wow, so it just drops down like that and it's got a little ramp for the animals to walk up. So you could, I mean, wait, I think you could maybe fit a, a young Highland cow in there, right? The miniature Highland cows, I love those guys. You just walk them on in there and use that gate system to divide them and you can safely tow them down the road. I mean, take a look at this thing. This is living in luxury for these little animals. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. But, you know, now that we've taken a look at the little guys stuff, I want to see something really big. You have something really big? Yes. All right, let's get inside. So this is our Lakota three horse, 13 foot living quarter trailer for horses. That is huge. This thing is way bigger than that other one. Wow, and this one you have to pull with a gooseneck hitch, right? That is so cool. Now you say this has living quarters in it? Yes, for cowboys to sleep when they're on the road. A place for cowboys to sleep on the road? Well, that's perfect. <laughs> wow, guys, look down the side of this thing. It is absolutely enormous. That is so cool. Wait a second, it looks like a house in there. <laughs> yes. Wow, you guys like wanna one. go in and check it out? Go ahead. Wow, this place is fit for a king or a cowboy. Look at this. How awesome is this? There's a full-size bed up here. Do you even have a radio in here? I mean, you can be on the road taking a nap, listening to some tunes, come over here and cook some dinner. This is crazy. I had no idea they had these creature comforts like a microwave, a stove, running water in a sink. Um, wait a second. What is this? This looks like something here. What is this? That's a refrigerator. To a store refrigerator? It. No way. Look at that. It really is a refrigerator. It even feels cold in there. And I bet up top you've got a freezer. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's where the cowboys keep the ice cream. I mean, look. Not every cowboy likes ice cream, but this cowboy does. That is so cool. 
And I love this flooring, that is so nice. You come in from a long day of riding horses or working on your roping skills or whatever you may be doing on the road, you can just come in here and kick back and relax. Maybe even, you know, take off your hat and cool. Are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, I'll put the hat back on. Wow, you guys want to take a look at the restroom? There's even a restroom for being on the road. So Lauren, what is this thing right here? This is like a couch and everything? So this is a couch and it does fold out into a bed. No way, so you've got a bed up top and even more sleeping room? Yes. That's amazing, you can even have guests stay over. <laughs> now this, I feel like I've seen, it looks like there's more space over here than anywhere else. Yes, cause this trailer does have a slide out. So this couch can come in and come out. No way. Look at that! Whoa! <laughs> wow! So it comes in like this when you're on the road, I guess, so that you're even with your lane, right? Yes. But then whenever you get to where you're going and you want to kick back and relax, you just slide this thing on out and, and have a good time. This is so fun! But even with this pulled all the way in there's still room to get around and you can kind of boogie in here however you want to that is so cool but this is just the living quarters there's even more to this trailer yes we, no have, way. we have a horse area a <laughs> horse area so you could be in here sleeping and then your horses would be right behind you sleeping that's crazy let's go look at the horse area I just love this trailer. I mean, it is a beautiful work of art. Wow, that swung out really far. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is so cool. Wow, so this is like an area to hang your saddles? Yes. Look at that. You can fit probably even more than just three saddles in here. That is so cool. So they'd sit right there. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And don't forget your bridle hooks so you can hang up your bridle. Oh yeah, you got to have the bridle hooks. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, this is huge. I can't, I cannot get my mind around how big this thing is. I get to see these going down the road all the time, Miss Lauren, but I never see the inside of it. This is so unique. And so, whoa, what's going on here? Well, so, how many different horses can you fit in here? Three. Three? I gotta go check this out for myself. <laughs> wow, okay, I kinda see. So these things move? So those are dividers that you can open up here, move it out to the side so you can load your horses. No way. So this here is a three horse trailer. Is that what I heard you say? Yes. That is crazy. So you could have not only just one, not only two, all as many as three horses in a single trailer. Let me open this up. So, I just kind of need to visualize how you do this. So you've got, you guys are back where the horse is, you bring them in, you load them up, you get them right here, you close this guy, mm -hmm. say good horse, stay still. <laughs> and then you bring in the second horse, get them lined up here. Yes. Close this up. Third horse goes right here and you close the doors. All right, so once you get all three horses in here, you can use this tie right across here to this hook and that'll keep them in place and they're not trying to run out on you when you're trying to close the back doors. That is so cool, three horses in the same trailer. Each horse has four hooves. So you've got four horse hooves per horse times three horses. That's a total of 12 feet on the ground right back in here, that is so cool. You guys ever wonder if horses get thirsty or hungry on the road? I do. I'm always worried. Do they have anything to eat? Well, look, as they're standing in their stall here in the trailer, they have this trough so they can put feed in there for them so they can always get a snack while they're cruising down the road. That way they don't ever get hungry. I always stop at Bucky's for some beaver nuggets, but these horses don't have that luxury. I mean, could you imagine if we saw a horse walking into Bucky's? Now it is Texas and we have seen crazier things. But these horses bring their snacks on the go with them. Let's keep looking around. Wow, Miss Lauren, there's even more storage over here? Yes. This is crazy. There is no wasted space on these trailers. That is so cool. So what would people put in here? Um, you can put in your equipment. Um, equipment, feed, 
anything that you need when traveling down the road. That is so cool. I bet you need a couple of tire irons and maybe a jack and those kind of things. Because if you have a flat tire on one of these and while you're on your way to a rodeo, you need to get it fixed lickety split, right? Yes. Wait, but you guys have a lot of cowboys bring their trailers to you guys here to fix, right? Yes. So they have a full service department where they get to work on all of these things that they sell and get them back in tip top shape so everybody can have a safe time going down the road. That is so cool. I just love the use of space. Oh, wait a second, there's a door here? Yes, this is an escape door. An escape door? So check that out. You can actually go inside through this door, but this is what they call the emergency exit door. And this is real important, so in case there was ever an accident on the road or something and you need to get your animals out quickly, you wanna have more than one way to get them out in a, in a hurry, right? because we love these animals, we take great care of them. Obviously, we're carrying them around in this incredible trailer. Wow, that is so cool. Now, I wouldn't let your horses in that door if they need to go to the bathroom. That's just where I draw the line. I don't let my horses use my, my restroom. <laughs> that is so cool. So you close this. Look at that, I guess you could drop a lock right there. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Oh, I guess this is where you plug it in, huh? Mm -hmm. That's your 30 amp plug. So if you're out in an event or a rodeo, you just take that plug from the inside of your trailer and plug it up and it powers the living quarters for the cowboys. That is so cool. Cause you think about it, we've got lights, a refrigerator, a freezer, all these different devices. Even the radio, it needs power. So you could get it by plugging in wherever you go to. That is so cool. And there's the window right above the couch we were checking out. That is awesome. So what is this right here? That's your fresh water connection. So whenever you're at a rodeo, you just open up the side here and you can plug in a water hose here in okay. your fresh connection. So you have plenty of water, running water inside. And I guess you could run a hose from that to water your animals as well. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. I just love this thing. I mean, that is so cool. Window for the bedroom. This is so cool. I love it. I mean, I never thought a trailer to get you from rodeo to rodeo, town to town, all across the country could be so complicated and unique. But I mean, there's all these things that, wait, there's even propane tanks? Mm -hmm. So I guess, is that to run a generator if you're not plugged in somewhere? Yes, those are your propane. And then you have a hydraulic jack here Oh, so that's when, gotta be really nice to have. Whenever you're hooking up, whenever you're traveling, you just press a button along the side here, put the key in, and it sets Lowers the jack it on the truck. It. That is so cool. Wow. Now I see another trailer over here. I mean, I know you guys have a lot of trailers. This one, this one looks a little bit different. If you guys look side to side, this one has this big living quarters. This one doesn't have a living quarters, but we see these a lot going down the road because people transporting animals aren't always rodeo cowboys and need a place to stay. Sometimes they just have to move their, cow their cattle to an auction or maybe changing pastures that's not connected by land to another place or anything like that. So what is this guy right here? So this is our 20 foot stock trailer and it's mostly for cows and livestock. That is so cool. Can we take a look inside this one? Sure. All right, let's do it. <laughs> look at this. Guys, look right here. You can even see me. This trailer is fit for a king because you can even see your own picture on it, right? Wow, guys, look at this. This has a swing out saddle compartment. That is so cool. You can fit four saddles on here. Oh, and then I guess you could hang a lot of your tack and bridles and everything right over here. And blankets. Oh, blankets, of course. I forgot about the blankets. That is so cool. We'll just swing this back on here. Look at that. They <laughs> absolutely waste zero space. There's room for everything in here. Oh, this must be like the tack room. Yes. So that makes sense because we talked about the saddles. We talked about the blankets. A tack room on the go right here. That is so cool. And look, there's even more storage space way up there. You can even put a bed up there if you want to. Wow, you can even fit a bed up there? That's really cool. In case you had a really long road trip and you get a little sleepy, sometimes you just gotta 
hey, you know, that's a good point. Whenever we get tired, we always take a nap, right? Depending on how old you are, a lot of us need to take a nap during the middle of the day. It makes you feel a lot better and we don't get grumpy. Sometimes if I don't get my nap, I get really grumpy. Anyways, let's keep exploring this thing. So this looks more like the trailers I see going down the road all day long. This is so cool, but this one has windows. I'm not used to seeing the animals have a wind block here. That's really nice. So they don't get all that wind blowing in their face and their eyes are you know, blinking a lot and everything. <laughs> this is so cool. So these just swing open. Yes. Let's open this bad boy up and take a look in there. Wow. This thing is huge. This is like a mobile dance floor right here. Check this <laughs> out, guys. Wow. So same kind of concept as the last trailer, right? And are, how many animals are we fitting in here? Uh, two. You can um, fit up to two animals that I know of. Wait a second, wait a second. Are you locking me in here? No. Ah, I get out. This is so crazy. I'm stuck in a horse trailer right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Wow, look at that. So you would load up one horse, swing the gate closed, load up your second one, and off you go. That is so cool. I just love that. Be good, Mr. Ed. Look, and now he's locked in, and we can load up the second one, and then we just get down and close this thing back up. There, I'm not even gonna pretend to know how to use that latch. That thing is complicated. She gets it because she sees these all the time. That is so cool. And just like everywhere, you've got your tail lights to let people know you're hitting the brakes and slow down. What are all these switches back here? Those are to control the lights. Um, so whenever you're hooked up to the trailer and you're ready to go, um, these power the lights to the outside and the inside of the trailer. That is so cool. So you have like lighting everywhere. That's true. I guess a lot, you need a lot of lighting because you may be loading up cattle or loading up horses before the sun rises and then unloading after the sun sets. I mean, a cowboy's work never stops, does it? That That's is true. So cool. I mean, how awesome is it? These tires even are all shined up for you when you come to National Trailer Source here in Willis, Texas. I mean, you can expect the best service, the best products, the most knowledgeable folks in the business. I mean, I had no idea what these trailers were even about when we got here. And now I feel like I know a thing or two. Not enough, but if I needed the information, I would rely on these guys. Hey, when you come, ask for Lauren. She's awesome. <laughs> now guys, there's this sticker right on the gooseneck part of this trailer. I don't know if you'd call this the gooseneck, would you? So right on this gooseneck part of the trailer, there's a sticker that gives you a lot of information. And one of the cool things about this trailer, it can hold up to 12,000 pounds. That's 12,000, that makes my head spin. That's a whole lot of weight, but that's important because the animals we're carrying and towing down the road are not light, right? They're bigger than you or I. They measure them in hands and they're a lot of hands and they're really heavy. So. This thing has to be capable of carrying a big, big load, and that big load is a lot of horses. That is so fun. Miss Lauren, thank you so much for having us here today at National Trailer Source in Willis, Texas. I had a blast. I've seen so many of these trailers my whole life, and I never knew anything about what they were like inside. And I know the cowboys and cowgirls at home really appreciate your time, too. Well, hey, you're around cowboys all the time, every day. They come in here to get their trailers you know, buy new trailers and even get their existing trailer service from you. So I hope you're pretty accustomed to this. But I was wondering if you could do the yeehaw with me. Absolutely. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna count it off and then we're gonna jump up and yell yeehaw. Okay. <laughs> so hey guys, thanks for coming on this adventure with me. I really appreciate it. I had a blast and I hope you did too. And stick around because we go on a lot of adventures together. All right, well until I see you next time. One, two, three. Yeehaw! <laughs>